Hi everyone, it's Kim from JustWords.ca. I'm back again to do another coloring tutorial. I just saw this image online today and I have to stay off internet because I'm telling you, I'm getting so many new images I don't even have time to color them all. So I am just thought I would try and do this one really quick. It's a brand new um, artist and it's under P. Pinky Dolls. P. Pinky Dolls. Not sure that's the right way to say it but I just thought it was the most adorable image and as you can see she's got some shading here so we're gonna see how that turns out with our pro markers and we're gonna get to it so of course I do my skin first it gives it a little life for me so I'm gonna start with coral sun-kissed pink blush baby pink for the cheeks and I always go dark to light again you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm just going to turn it here and it's going to be the darkest under the lines. It's a little hard to see here so we're going to just try our best. I'm going to just add a little bit under the eye, a little bit under this eye, I see I got a little bit into the white there, no big deal. We're gonna we'll go over that. Now I'm just gonna put a little dot there. We'll try and keep her soft looking. We'll see how it turns out. Again, I'm using the Nina Solar White card stock. I'm going right over that other color, darker color. And I'm just going to go with the sun-kissed pink right over that dark shaded area. I'm going to get that baby pink hair. blush these little girls look a little sad but I thought they were still adorable so we're gonna see how we like just gotta Get some of that dark color that bled into the nose out. I want the nose white. Well, light. I'm just going to get my blender, blender pen, which I'm using Copic just because I run out of the letra set. And I have a little bit in this one as well. Hmm. I'm going to here. I find the cheeks are a little dark with that shading. I'm just adding a little more. Get that blush. It's just to soften the line. And I'm going to add a little bit of that baby pink to her bottom lip here. Maybe a little bit on her nose. Mm, I think that's pretty cute. Okay, so now I'm going to work on her neck here. Again, darkest color under the neck, along the bottom of her dress here. That sun kissed pink. Oh, I'm so bummed out. I tried to apply for the Letraset design team and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I can never seem to make the design teams. I figured with the followers I have here and that I promote their product. I don't ask for any money. I don't get anything for free that I was doing okay, but yeah, so I guess it just 
I'm just not what they're looking for. So, oh well, what can you do? That was my coral sun kiss pink. Let's get that blush. There we are. Now I think I'm going to do her hair uh, blonde. So um, the color that I like is mustard, buttercup. I'm going to try eggnog, which was a special edition, I believe. Um, if not, I would just use either cocoa and mustard and buttercup or, or that other color I always use, which it's not on my brain. Let me see. Raw sienna. I'm gonna might put a touch of cocoa in there. We'll we'll see. I always say I'm not going to, and then I end up doing because I like a little more depth. So that's the way of it. I think I am gonna start with the mustard, and there's her hair is quite. It's a large area, so I'm just gonna use my bullet nib end, and I'm gonna try and put in where I want the darkest color to be. And you can see she's got some shading in there already, so you right now I'm gonna need some of that cocoa and I am just gonna use the ultra fine nib because I don't want it too dark I'm just going right beside where I have that mustard Soften that now. Now let's get that buttercup. Getting that eggnog, which is just a very touch lighter than that buttercup, not much. you'll notice once you add these layers of colors on you lose a little bit of depth so I'm just bringing that mustard in again maybe just a little bit more
I'm just going to take my blender pen and we are just going to just lightly, we just want to soften those little sharp edges I put down. So I'm just lightly going over the edging. And we're going to leave that as the lightest highlight. So it'll be very light, soft. I got a little extra here. We're just going to clean it up. There's a little bit here. And I just didn't find it had enough. Oops, I got a little bit on the face. I'm going to have to go over that again. I'm just going to get my sun kiss pink here and fix it a little bit I got here. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to need my glasses on here. I'm making so many mistakes. i got to watch how much ink I'm putting down because then I'm starting to get blurring. Okay, stop, stop. One day I'll learn. Okay. No more. Done, 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 done. Like dinner. Okay. So, now the little unicorn, I think because my granddaughter, her favorite color is purple, we are going to do purple for its mane and tail. And then we'll have to decide on a dress. I have yet to decide on the dress. So the colors I'm going for is aubergine, purple, and orchid. So let's get going on that. Okay, so let's work on this mean. I'm going to try and do darker from the bottom. into the lighter colors at the top. It's a little difficult to follow the lines here. But, but we will try our best. Okay, so that was the aubergine. Now we're going to get the purple. Aubergine in here.
Orchard. Now I did go over this a few times, I just have to get it to the way I liked it. It's still not 100% perfect, but I think it's doable. Let's try the tail here. See, I washed away that depth, so I'm going to try and go back in a little bit here. so much but it is what it is today okay so I'm unsure on the dress I, I didn't want to make it too in your face so I think I'm going to just do a beige dress so I'm going to use sandstone, sandstone, oh, can I speak today? Sandstone and satin. So, it should be relatively easy to color. soften it. We don't want too, too harsh a lines. I'm just going to use my nib. There we go. Let's do the bottom now. Okay, 
soft, soft, soft. I'm trying to make it soft. I hope I'm doing it justice here. Okay, so now with the little unicorn, typically they're white, so I am going to use my ice gray um, four, two, and one, I think. It's going to be the two and one. As you can see, it's a little darker under here. Soften this up. Okay, I'm gonna continue. I haven't used my ice gray for probably never, so it's really leaking out. Not leaking, but I mean the color is really coming out, so I have a little more bleeding than I like. So we're just going to tidy it up. I'm going to dry a little bit here. We're going to tidy it up some more. See, it's really coming out of there. Uh, let's do the little little cutie patootie's face. I'm gonna add a little of that baby pink here. Don't worry, it's not gonna look so bright. I'm gonna put the other gray colors over top of it. Goodness, I'm having issues today. Not to fret. You know, there's always, you just go over. I'm crowding myself here with markers. Okay, let's have a little more here. A little more here. Okay. Let's work on his ear. I'm just gonna put dark on the inside. And we're just gonna put a little ice cream one here. There is a lot of shading on this image, so don't feel you have to go crazy the color. Okay, so I've got the wings to do, which I want to do a soft pink. So I'm just going to do my baby pink and my blender pen here, if I dare use it again. And I'm totally going to 
use. I might put a little bit of pink in here too. I'm going to use my Wink Estella for some nice glitter for this little guy in his wings. Okay, and I need an eye color for this little darling. And I'm wondering, hmm. Oh, and I have her stockings to do as well. I think I'll match them to her eye color. What do you think, green? Let's grab my green. I haven't been green in a while. So I am going to, I might throw a little pine in there. Just for giggles, forest green. And we'll do, hmm, I usually put leaf green. Can't even remember what color I usually do. No, it's bright green with forest green. Okay, I gotta find bright green. There we are, bright green. Okay, she's gonna have nice big expressive eyes. Do these a little different than I normally do. I usually just do the corners darkest, but I want to add a little depth to this. She has very big expressive eyes. I'm trying to be very careful here. I think I need a little bit of cocoa here. I'm just going to add just the slightest bit of brown. I'm definitely going to go back over it. Kim is making a moity mess of this image today. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put those green on the stockings. The other one. The browns to match your dress. Now I need my jelly roll, which is white. And we're going to tidy up the white in her eyes. And definitely in the unicorn. Now let's get that Wink of Stella. And I got mine in a three pack. Really cool. I think I got it at Simon Says. Simon Says store. And they come in uh, black, clear, and silver. Black, clear, and silver. And I normally like to use the clear. 
and we just add and of course we're going to put some of that on the unicorn and you know I think I'm just going to add three little Add a little magical. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's super cute. Okay, so there she is, P. Pinky's um, dolls, uh, and she has an Etsy shop. Super cute, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.